Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. We are going to go ahead and do another beginner's tutorial around the taco swap. We are going to focus on the meal option, which is essentially the liquidity pool for taco swap in the taco universe. Basically what this is is similar to the last two uh, walkthroughs that we did. Uh, it allows you to place in your extra currency uh, and potentially earn some passive income from it. So if you have a lot of inflowing or you're only on one project and you're not sure what to do with your, your, your currency at the moment, uh, you can put in one of these and potentially earn from it. So in order to get to the meal option, it, you go to the taco swap, which is taco uh, crypto.io, which I'll have a link in the description down below. And you go, we talked about swap already. We talked about salsa last time. So this time we're going to go ahead and click on the meal up here. And it is going to be the liquidity pool. There's a lot more liquidity pool options than there is the salsa options. So keep that in mind. For the salsa, you are only staking one token. For the liquidity pool, you're actually going to be staking two matching tokens. So what we're going to do here is we're going to find the one that we want to take a look at. Uh, I, we're going to do taco and, and wax. So we scroll. We can either scroll down to it and try and find it. There's a whole lot more than there was last time I did this. Or we can go ahead and search for it. And we're just going to search taco. And that gives you a whole bunch of options for taco. So we want the taco wax option. And similar to this, or similar to the salsa side, you have the two tokens that you're going to be staking the current staked amount in the liquidity pool. So you have 214,000 uh, taco and you have 388,000 uh, wax. The current APR, the daily dis distribution. So basically what happens is every day 1,000 taco is going to be distributed based on the size of the pool share that you have. It will determine how much you get and shows you the remaining time that's left in this liquidity pool. Again, you can click on this to see who the leaders are to see how much shares they have. You can see Taco actually obviously has a big one there. And then you can go ahead and click on the details. And from the details screen, you're going to go ahead and click on add. All right, so when you're in here, essentially you're going to be staking both tokens. So I'm going to be staking some Taco and I'm going to be staking some Wax. They are equal amounts, so you can't stake uh, one taco in 50 wax or vice versa. It has to be equivalent value. So if I go ahead and click, I'm actually going to flip these because wax is less value than taco. So I'm going to go ahead and invest or stake all of the wax that I have and it's automatically down here going to calculate how much taco that is. So if I go ahead and do that, you see it's going to be the equivalent of, of 4.8 taco. So there we go. We have eight 8.7 wax and 4.8 taco. It shows you the rates. It shows you uh, the rate in between the two, uh, which helps you calculate and it shows you how much of the pool share. Again, this is a very, very small amount in the size of a pool. So it's, I'm not going to get a big percentage, but if I go ahead and add the liquidity, click on the add, it's going to ask me to go through the authentication process and then it's going to let me know I'm going to have to go ahead and search it again, or I can go to the drop down and click on staked. And it's only going to show after I hit refresh the, the, the ones that I have a stake in, which is the taco and wax. You can see it's staked. You can see the green around it. This pull down is very helpful for the meal. For the salsa, it's not quite needed yet because there's still not a lot of salsas out there. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is click on the details and it's going to show my results. And again, it is not a lot. I have this amount staked, which we just saw. It's 0.00223 percent of the share, which is tiny. And this shows you my daily rewards. Obviously, if you continue to stack this, similar to what I mentioned for the salsa, these rewards will increase. Other people will be stacking also, but these rewards will increase, and so you'll have better, more benefits. The thing with the liquidity pools that you have to remember is there's a chance that the amount here could fluctuate. It can go up and down similar to the Alcor uh, liquidity pools. It is not static. So depending on the value of, of the actual tokens themselves and how they fluctuate, 
will impact the actual amount that you have staked in there. So keep that in mind. It will not always be a like for like once you what you put in, you get out. So keep that in mind. And then every day I'm going to go ahead and get these rewards. They're going to be put in here and uh, I can go ahead and stack them up. In order to remove my tokens, it's similar to before, you hit the remove button. I have the option I can move portion, I can move it all. Again, for the sake of the video, I'm going to go ahead and hit max and remove the liquidity for it. And then go ahead and hit proof. And we authenticate. And then it's going to go ahead and give me mine back. Um, I'll hit refresh. And you can see that I have the 8.7 back and I have the 6.5 back. So I can go ahead and use that elsewhere. I can go ahead and redistribute in the game by or in the platform by using the swap and doing a different route. Um, and you can also go up here to your account and look at the rewards. This is where you're going to see the rewards. So that is the meal option. Uh, it's again, it is a passive liquidity sort of savings. Uh, not necessarily saving. This is more similar to like a, a, a dividend uh, s stock um, options. Um, and the salsa is more of a uh, bank account interest option. So it depends on what you want or what you like. Uh, you can go ahead and take a look at either of those. Again, do your research. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor. That's not financial advice. I do not guarantee anything from this video. It, I, this is just an informational video to show you how to use these different exchanges. Do your own research before you pick uh, an option when you go ahead and do that. I hope you all enjoy these. Please let me know down in the comments below. Uh, other tutorials, beginner tutorials that you think I should go ahead and do, and we'll, we'll continue to do these. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.